Parting with a stillborn is a parent's first step in a very difficult grieving process. A relatively new device is trying to help make that tragic experience a little less difficult. Eyewitness News Health Beat reporter Mark Hiller is here to explain. Mark. Candace, the grief for parents of a stillborn is compounded by having so little time to spend with their baby. A Plains Township woman who suffered that terrible loss is trying to turn her grief into a gift for other grieving families in Pennsylvania. Nothing can prepare a parent to be prepared for losing a child. Ashley Minninger knows that pain firsthand. The mother of three-year-old Colton had another son named Braden, who was delivered stillborn in May 2014 at Wilkesbury General Hospital. The time she shared with Braden was brief. Six hours. When once his body started changing, that's when General told me it was time to say my goodbyes. Ashley later learned about a device called a cuddle cot, which a nonprofit group called Madison's Miracles provided to her cousin in Florida. She actually got five extra days with her child who was stillborn. This is the cooling system mm -hmm. for it, and then this is the bassinet. This Even though it looks like a regular bassinet, the cuddle cot uses distilled water that runs from a cooling unit through hoses to a cooling mat placed at the bottom of the specially crafted cradle. It'll maintain the temperature to keep it cool to slow the physical changes down. Preserving the baby's body up to five days. It may be hard to understand what a cuddle cot can mean to a grieving family dealing with a tragedy so sudden and so drastic. But by extending the time from hello to goodbye, it could give more meaning to the child's life after the loss. With the help of co-workers, family and friends, Ashley raised $3,000 to purchase a cuddle cot, which she's donating to Geisinger Wyoming Valley Medical Center. It will include a plaque bearing her late son Braden's name. I'm glad that I can have his name live on and it's not just, he's not just passed away, it's he's still living on and giving people the gift of time. Ashley will present the first cuddle cot in Pennsylvania to Geisinger Wyoming Valley Medical Center on July 23rd. Before that, she's holding a bowling fundraiser the previous Saturday to purchase a cuddle cot for Wilkesbury General Hospital. Head to pahomepage.com to learn more about both events and how you can get involved. With the Health Beat, Mark Hiller, Eyewitness News. Mark, thank you.